room here, and this is the third Sophie and Toffee's resin subscription box. Only one more left. And this is Gryffindor and Ravenclaw box. So, as you can see, the uh, Never, Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon uh, Hogwarts um, slogan. Is it the sword? Ravenclaw and Gryffindor with a raven instead of an eagle. <laughs> so, cut this bit in my scrapbook. So, this, this is the cover. So why they didn't put these two together, then these two together, I don't know. Put these two together, then these two is in the next box. So they're in another box. <clears throat> One of the things I really love about these boxes is that it's magnetic. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep on playing with that if I don't stop now. So And this is on the inside. This is a Gryffindor color wrapped. And this is the booklet of what everything is inside. <coughs> and instructions. Gotta love the instructions because, like, it's very good. <laughs> it's got, um,. Stuffing Toffee Community. Show your creations on Instagram with hashtag Sophie and Toffee for a chance to be featured in our monthly booklet. Hmm. And doodles, uh, doodles, <laughs> tutorials and inspirations. There's a sophieandtoffee.com for such blog. Then there's a Facebook and Instagram. And a YouTube. Basic instructions is a plan out your project, prepare your work, desk, the necessary tools and supplies, soak the resin in a hot bath to minimize bubbles. Hmm. That was not in the previous booklet, so that's a new thing I never heard of. But, uh, okay, it's pretty interesting. I guess I make this in my bathroom because it has a window I can actually reach. I have a faucet, so I can use that. Um, I do not heat up the epoxy after mixing. This will result in the flash cure and will damage the mold. Mix epoxy resin in equal parts of A and B. You can still use a measuring cup or a weighing scale for better accuracy. Make sure to wear gloves and a filter mask whenever working with resin. It's best to double glove in case one rips to protect your skin from possible burns. Avoid breathing in resin fumes. So you can either paint or mica to color the molds instead of the resin. If you use paint, you'll need to use epoxy resin in order for the paint to be transferred. So no UV resin. Right? Mix epoxy resin with colors of your choice and color the molds that way. Okay. We suggest either mica powder or alcohol ink or epoxy resin. Um, let's see, fill the bottom mold one third of the way full, then gently press down the top, down the top plug to the resin, mm, it's a lowercase t, uh, the resin should fill the mold to form, the shape, there is no capitals after full stop in this, in any of them, oh, one of them, 
I'm just being nifty right now, so, um, section two and three do it. There's a bit of a mix on instruction four, so I've just been picking always caps lock, and a cap letter after a full stop. Basic grammar. Well, they did do it for instruction five lessons. Instruction seven and eight, definitely yeah, not. Anyway, um, what I just read out, and this is number eight, will be for a specific mold. That picture of that. Demold all of your pieces carefully, cut off any flash that may have overspilled to get clean lines, assemble the pieces together, and show them with optional red foil inside, and seal with UV resin or glue to secure it in place. Hmm. Pin backings times two. So I guess if you want to make one of the molds a pin, you can. And there's a keychain piece. There's oh yes, you got epoxy resin in the one-on-one -on -one mixing ratio because the other ones from the other kits were three to one, which is kind of I don't really want to think. <laughs> so. And there's also two bottles of UV resin as well. Okay. okay. Um, I'm doing this completely backwards. Normally I do this booklet at the end. Anyway, I shall show you what's in the box as we go. So, let's put that over there. Bezel charms. Well, I already sort of said it, so there's two gold pin backings. Focus. There we go. So two pin backings with the uh, metal clutches. Then, as I said, open bezel charms. So. We've got a Harry, a, oh by the way, each of them have a HP bit there, but uh, a Luna, we've got a Ron, but if you want to know on the back of it just has WV PIS twenty two copyright thing in the back there. That one was wrong. We've got Hermione. And apart from let's see, actually only Carrie and Hermione have the wands in their hand. And we've got the lion for Gryffindor. Luna's spec specs. And finally, the Raven Claw, the Abyss. Oh, I can't really tell, is this supposed to be an Eno or a Wraith? Because, like, the beak's kind of really turned, turned down there, so.
there you go. That's that stuff. And like I said before, this is the keychain times one random piece, it says. So you know a D-ring with bits. And then we have Yes! A one to one ratio per A and B epoxy resin. We also have a UV resin, 25 grams. And another UV resin, 25 grams. As it says, times two bottles. And then for this thing, up, we have Bruno's Spectre Specs mold. And it's got two, uh, two, like, open parts, like pegs, and corners there, so, like, you could make it into a necklace, I guess, or a key chain. You can see it better that way. So that'll be the front of it anyway. Then we have a Ravenclaw and Gryffindor Prefect molds. Prefect House Badge Mold. This has. I see a better head for it than this. Then, yeah, this mold's back. It's uh, two halves of Neville's 3D Remember All. Neville's remember all? That's there. It's like it's got like the actual half of the sphere, then the uh, like the uh, plug thing, so you can so it's hollow on the inside after you can mold it. And you just stick something in the middle maybe, and then you glue or UV resin both sides together. Okay, so next up, uh, we have red foil. I'd like to go into the mold if you want. We've also whoops, got a transparent film. I guess you can put on Luna's glasses. Lastly, we have a clear resin film. All Gryffindor and Ravenclaw themed stuff. I'm guessing in the uh, 
another round of the Hufflepuff one. We'll have like like exactly the same thing, just with with the Slytherin and Hufflepuff stuff on it. Interesting. So. That's everything. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven things inside the box. Very nice, very nice. It's a very nice booklet as well. Yeah, so that is everything. So, um, maybe sometime I might try and, I don't know, make something small. Maybe this? Maybe these? I have to see if I actually have the mic for it. Do I don't actually, I have actually bought the like a mic and powder set yet. But I think I'm uh, getting it for my sister for Christmas. So I might make that like more things after Christmas and the New Year because I don't have every thing like for. Like previous boxes of mermaid train kit train. I don't actually have the colors that I want for to make that, so I refrain from making it yet. But like I can I don't know, try try some of the open bezels. I haven't actually tried any of that yet. And this should be interesting. Technically I don't really I'm not really, you know actual opinion on Neville's, Neville's Rememberall, but uh, I can, if it's, since it's the hollow sphere, I can put something in it before I seal it up, or put some thing to shape, so like a shaker thing, I don't know, but um, yes, it's nice that this resin this time is a one-to-one -one ratio instead of the three-to-one that they put in the other boxes. Less to think about, which is great. <laughs> and since I added a different tip of putting it into a warm, it was a warm water, right? Oh, hot water bath. So, uh, should be interesting to try out that. See if it helps. So, considering Last time I tried it, when I actually sort of mixed it right, I actually just put on a song that was like three, four minutes long and just stirred it really slowly. I might invest in a resin stirrer because I'm lazy, but we'll see. I don't know. That just might be too lazy, but anyway. Should be interesting to make. Hearing or a necklace. We'll see. Yes, I'm just waffling now. So thank you for watching. Like this report. We need to waffle our patients. Well, uh, it seems when I was stirring it, I got some of my hair stuck in there. I didn't notice because I didn't actually have a light on. So, um, I guess we'll just see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. And at least you can't see the hair in the back. But, uh, hmm. So I used a, uh, a swab thing and I patted on some uh, blue mica powder 
and I put a little bit of glitter in there. I probably should have just left it and just put the glitter in here on this side afterwards. But anyway, it's, it's not that bad for a uh, experiment or whatever, because like there was a bubble here, so there's a bit missing, as you can see. But anyway, it was, it was with a kind of a, a white mica powder, but that's that one. And this one I used some red and a gold mica powder, like dabbed on. I really should have a, like a proper micro brush or whatever so I can actually dab it properly. I did a light dusting as you can probably see. At least there's no bubbles on the surface on this side but well maybe well, actually there is. I did try and get a lot of the bubbles out, but as you can probably see, there's what you might not be able to see. There's quite a lot of bubbles in here. But at least not as much on the, the front side, but still quite a few, unfortunately. And there's a bubble in the tail. <laughs> Anyway, so that's using these. This is using this mold, so I think I only really used this one because I actually made too much resin, so yeah. But at least it's not that many bubbles and it cleared like all nice and smooth. Meaning I actually put the right amount <laughs> this time, which is good. But anyway, I'll retry at another date with a proper micro brush, or I'll just use mica powder and put, just color the resin itself instead of sticking to white. That'd be interesting to see what happened. But anyway, so that's this.